To start, let's examine the push rollers and the grit rollers more closely, how they work together, and how to position them correctly. The push rollers have to be located so that the rubber wheel of each push roller is located squarely over one of the grit rollers. It cannot be halfway on as you see here. This is because the grit rollers are what drives the material back and forth. Thus, if the push rollers are not squarely over the grit rollers, the material will not track properly. Because of this, you'll notice that above each grit roller is a black strip that indicates where each grit roller is located and positioned. This is especially helpful when the media is covering the grit rollers. In fact, when one of the push rollers is not squarely over a grit roller, the cutter will display this message to alert us that one or more of the push rollers need to be repositioned. As you position the push rollers, keep in mind that when the cutter initializes, it will use the position of the outside push rollers to determine the cut area width. The cutter then assumes that the outside push rollers are at the edge of the media and will not allow the cutting tool to go beyond the push rollers. Therefore, always position the outside push rollers so that they are on the outermost edges of the media, yet squarely over the grit rollers. 